Okay, we have the compact in here in my office now, so we can uh, take some baseline tests on it uh, before we do any upgrading on it, just to see how it was running as it is. As you can see, this does have the Semtron 3200 Plus uh, processor in it, running at 1.8, 224 megs of RAM in it. Came with uh, Windows XP on it. I'm running Prime 95 right now just to see how that stock cooler is working. And actually, it's not doing too bad. Um, ambient temperature in here is 33, and the uh, core temperature just went up to 38, 39 right now so it's not extremely hot hard drive is also at 39 because there's no uh, fan on the hard drive itself and we also ran a super pi test with it and it was running at 59.922 seconds so just a hair under one minute to do a uh, one meg calculation on it as typical with uh, most of your compacts and HPs um, they come with a lot of bloatware. This thing has got, you know, AOL free trial, Game Center is on here, a um, few different uh, programs, Blockbuster Online, I think that's a trial program also, as well as some extra software that they put on there. With a computer with so little RAM in it, you really don't want, you know, to see too many things running down in the taskbar, uh, taxating that 200 and... Uh, 24 megs of RAM it has to use. But anyway, that'll give us our base marks. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is just do a clean install in Windows and uh, get rid of all the bloatware, all of the spyware, whatever else might be in here. And then we will uh, run them tests again, see how we're uh, doing for temperature and what SuperPi does. And then we'll go from there. I just wanted to take a quick look at the BIOS as you would expect from any. Uh, Dell HP compact it's, it's pretty stripped down they tell you the drives that are in it advanced mode gives you a few features tells you a bit about the hardware lets you turn off um, some input output devices onboard audio stuff like that uh, certainly no overclocking options anything to that effect um, this is running Compax uh, BIOS version 3.3 Three, five, I believe it is. Uh, but I'm just going to go in here and change my boot order to uh, boot from uh, DVD so I can put uh, Windows in here. Okay, we've done a clean install of Windows XP uh, running Prime 95 on it right now. So you can see the core is about 39, ambient still around 35. Um, not too bad of temperatures. Hard drive still at 40. I'd like to see that cooler. Uh, but I've been running Prime on it for a while now. It looks like about half an hour or something. Um, not too long. And did a Super Pi test and got it down to uh, 55.734 seconds. So we've knocked uh, almost five seconds off the time, about four and a quarter seconds off the time just by doing a clean install. So uh, that'll be our base marks to compare as we install uh, the new hardware for it. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, upgrade the hardware in here. Um, basically don't want to run XP on here for long, I just wanted to do some testing with it. We're actually going to run Windows 7 on here, I hope. Uh, I think the hardware will be good enough to do that, and that way we can be a little bit more modern. Um, here's our old hardware we're taking out, here's your Semtron uh, processor and the one stick of 256. RAM that was in there. I'm replacing it with the let's see if we can read this. This is actually ah, the lighting in here is pretty bad. This is actually a 64X2 3800 dual core and then we're putting in four 512 meg chips of uh, Corsair Extreme RAM with the heat sinks on it. So that should work uh, pretty well and should give us our minimal we need to uh, run Windows 7.